Hi guys and welcome back to Lovely Ladies Kitchen brought to you by the Sister Rhyme Wellness and Birthing Please visit the website www.sisterrym.com Thank you for watching the Sister Rhyme channel. What I'm going to be making for you today is jambalaya. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to be making it a kosher jambalaya. Um, one of the things that doctors tell people when they experience high blood pressure issues, uh, the first food item that they take off of your food list is pork. Um, simply because it's high in sodium and high in toxins and it increases your blood pressure. And so I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful tasty jambalaya without pork. And it's going to still taste um, We're going to make our own so I'm gonna go Creole seasoning. Um, and Creole seasoning is very, very easy to make. You don't have to go to the store and overspend on Creole seasoning. You can take the regular seasonings that you have in your cabinet and make your own Creole seasoning. It's so easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. Creole homemade Creole seasoning. We have um, sea salt, cayenne pepper, which is good for purifying your blood and helping to cleanse your system of toxins and inorganics. And of course, the sea salt will keep the body hydrated and help with brain function as well. You can get happy with sea salt. And then we have some garlic, some finely minced garlic, and some finely minced uh, and finely chopped onions. We have a little bit of turmeric and a little poultry seasoning that we're going to use. If you don't have poultry seasoning, you can use sage and you can use oregano with a little cumin and some coriander um, and those seasonings will work just fine but I happen to have some poultry seasoning in my kitchen so I'm gonna use poultry okay. seasoning. So these ingredients here we're gonna mix together and we have our homemade Creole seasoning. So here I have some chicken tenders I'm just going to get these diced up here, line them up. So you want to cut these into little bite-sized chunky pieces. Sort of like that size there, nice bite size. It's going to shrink down. So a nice bite-sized chunk there. So you get those all chopped up. And move on to the sausage that they I have some Italian turkey sausage links. I'm 
and just squeeze them right out of here in little ball bite-sized pieces. Take them out of that casing. You get washed up here. Okay, so we got that all done. Um, I'm going to throw all this trash away and I'll meet you over at the stove. Okay, so a nice size pot here. Get that pot warmed up. We're going to put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil down into the pan. about a few tablespoons because your sausage is going to render its own fat but because it's turkey and I got lean turkey sausages it's not going to render as much fat as the a pork sausage would or a not lean sausage um, which is kind of good because then you can control what kind of fat you want to use um, olive oil is a good fat it helps to um, you, when you put good fat in your body and the bad fat slides right on out much easier. And I'm just going to put a little bit of salt down in here. A few pinches. Get a little onion in there. Get a little garlic down in there. Nice little handful. The minced garlic that we minced earlier. You want that to kind of caramelize a little bit so it can season your oil. So you want your fire at about medium high heat. Go ahead and drop your uh, sausages down in. One thing about when you take your sausages out of the casing, they're a little bit more delicate. So you have to let it brown before you start to turn it. Um, once it browns, it kind of holds together a lot better. So while that's browning, we're going to go ahead and get our chicken tenders started. Same medium high heat. few tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. A little pinch of salt for your onions and garlic. And then get the rest of that down in there. Salt is going to help the vegetables. Put the rest of our other vegetables in there. Season the we added here. some more vegetables. We're going to add a little bit more salt. Nice pinch. Whenever you add a new layer of flavor, you want to season each layer of flavor that you're adding to your meal. Alright, so we're going to add some more of our poultry seasoning to this. And I'm still using a fourth of a teaspoon measure so you can see how many scoops I'm putting in here. And this is a lot of vegetables. So we want to season them well. Mm, don't need that much. A little pinch of too much. Just a little pinch. And about an eighth of a cayenne pepper because you have a lot of cayenne pepper and everything else. Got a lot of juice, so I'm going to pour some of this juice down into the vegetables here. I'm going to get my chicken down in here. Turn the front fryer down on low and cover that. While this is browning, this can simmer. Um, I'm going to clean up here. I'm going to get some rice measured out. 
and um, and get the stove ready to do the shrimp on the side. Since we're doing our shrimp on the side, um, you don't have to peel them. Um, you can, you know, wash them and then uh, cook them with the skin on. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and peel them and um, and, and devein them. And it's just really simple. You just peel the skin off and then you cut it down the middle on the back. And you open that up. And this is where the feces is. So you want to get that out of there. Alright. So we got the all the shrimp nice and peeled and nice and peeled and deveined. And um, now I'm going to sprinkle on some of the seasonings. Um, I'm not going to sprinkle on the onion and the garlic. The onion and the garlic are going to go down in the oil or the butter rather because I'm going to cook this in butter um, with the um, onions and garlic. So it's going to go butter, onions and garlic to flavor the onions and garlic with a little bit of salt in there. And then we're going to add our shrimp. But right now I'm going to season them. So I'm going to put a nice beautiful pinch of um, about a fourth of a teaspoon of the sea salt and I have a fourth of a teaspoon here of cayenne pepper okay. and about fourth about a half a teaspoon of turmeric and about a, about a half a teaspoon of um, poultry seasoning. Okay, so now that we have that simmering um, and it's close to done, um, you want to wait till it's either done or close, very, very close to done. Shrimp only take a few minutes, like a minute or two to cook. You just want them to get nice and pink and they're done. And this fire is on low. This, again, this is about two tablespoons of butter. The fire is down on low. Two cloves of garlic down into the butter. And we seasoned our shrimp earlier. And it's been marinating for a little while, so it's going to be good. So you put your shrimp into your jambalaya pot. Um, and let it all cook together. Um, but sometimes you may have family that come over who, doesn't, who don't eat pork, and so now you know how to make jambalaya without pork. Um, you'll sometimes have family members that come over who may be allergic to shellfish, um, but still, but still enjoy jambalaya. And so what you can do is just take your shrimp and um, season them with the same Creole seasoning mix that I showed you how to do earlier. And um, get you some butter, put a little garlic down inside the butter, and um, and um, and then toss your shrimp in there and toss it around and let it turn pink and it's done. Well, that's all I have for you tonight. It's my birthday and uh, the ladies are taking me out to dinner. Um, and so, yes, the jambalaya is done. I get to eat that for tomorrow's dinner. Yay! Um... And so I'm going to go hang out with the ladies. Love you guys. See you next time on Lovely Ladies Kitchen. Don't forget, subscribe, share, keep viewing all the rest of the other videos. Make your comments because I do pay attention to the comments and I do respond back. Um, and I hear you. And uh, I'm going to keep making these wonderful dishes just for you. And if you have any questions or um, any suggestions on shows you would like to see or if you would like to be a special guest on Lovely Ladies Kitchen, please email me at lovelyladieskitchen at gmail.com. Again, that's lovelyladieskitchen, all one word, at gmail.com. Love you guys. Bye.